Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I'm JT O'Sullivan. Today, Tom Brady, Tampa Bay. What's it going to look like? We're taking a look, sort of. Let's dive into it. Welcome to the QB School. <laughs> All right, you dig this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I really appreciate the support for the channel. Then you dig this kind of content and you haven't checked it out already, please look in the video description, check out the RPO course. By far the best thing the quarterback school has ever created. I am very excited about it. Want to share it, want as many people as possible to enroll in it, learn as much as you possibly can and work towards mastering RPO. So do me a favor, click the link in the video description, check it out, enroll, I appreciate it. Let's dive into it. Tom Brady, Raymond James. So this video is from one series from the last time I think the Patriots were in Tampa Bay, 2017. Tom looks pretty good in this series, not gonna lie. And uh, it's just interesting to see what he's going to look like, how it's going to fit together. There are some deep down the field throws in this series too that I love. But right out the gate, just a little swing screen up top. Not swing screen, a little swing pass. But watch the wide receiver up top. Tight end, he's going to come in and try to get a little rub on that will linebacker. Just doesn't get there, but they can't make the play in the flat. Again, efficient, crazy efficient. But this read up top, I take, might as well take it back because there's some great play design here. So we're going to watch the motion adjustment, first thing we're going to do. But then the next thing we're going to do here is talk about the actual scheme of what's going on here. So when, when they come across here, he's going to come across, and they're going to run with him. So that's going to clear up the pitcher. Then I'll pause it again so we can get the actual clean look to see exactly where everyone is as far as what's going on. So there's the motion, runs across, quarters match. Now the look is clean to that side. So now we're going to get just a straight up, Try to get just a little rub right on this defender right here. So we're going to come in here from the outside in and just, you don't have to basketball pick him, just make him run around you and then we'll swing it out to the tailback right there. And it's that simple. It's the motion to hide the split. It's the design of the play, but then it's the execution. There it is, 40-year-old Tom. We'll take that every time. Whoop. Clean. Again, one more time. Just watch that wide receiver up top. Watch that little attempted rub. There it is. Probably could have got a little bit more of him. Doesn't matter. Can't make the play in the open field. James White, nice job receiving the ball all the time. Again, watch that. Right over 28, linebacker to the left. Here he comes. Can't handle it. Sees it. Gets the exact look that they want. Great play design. Great execution. Easy first down. Take a peek back. Look at Garoppolo. He's excited coming down the line. Old school Patriots. So the next, first and 10. We're going to hide Amendola in the backfield. He's going to come out and just run a little five yard out. We're going to get slant flat down here to the bottom. Take Amendola. Clean. Boom. Again, quarterback wise, you know, tough to find a whole lot of faults when you're talking about the GOAT, but just paying attention to his base. Look how clean it is. One, two, three. No heel click. All his cleats in the ground all the time. Stuff around him. This was a penalty on Soldier. Basically, late cut here in the backfield, left tackle. But again, watch Tom's base. He's always lined up to where he wants to go. He's already lined up. Actually, it looks like he goes from right to left here. But again, never any heel click. When he goes to throw it, all his cleats are in the ground. Accurate on all these short intermediate passes, what he's done forever out of empty. So now it's first and 25. Okay, your left tackle's having issues. What do you call? Let's go screen. Let him run his guy by, slingshot him. Doesn't come out too much, but I love the play call. Anytime you're, one of your tackles is having a hard time, come in, let them run his by guy, left side. Yeah, nice. This is, again, this isn't every play from this series. This is just every meaningful pass. Now it's second and 23. Okay, down four. Now, this looks like empty, but this is really seven-man protection. We're going to get two chips from the two people outside the left ta of the tackles here. And this is just a massive 20-yard comeback up top. This is what it's going to look like, Tampa Bay. Chucking it down the field, one, two, three. No, shuffle, rip. And that's a big boy throw. But again, the scheme-wise here, and then we'll talk about the play action on the back end, just so we're all on the same page. This looks like empty. They do empty all the time in New England with Tom Brady. But really, he, they're chipping these defensive ends. So really, it's seven-man protection here. 
And we're going to get 20-yard comebacks or hinges. Hogan, I think, down here even goes farther, like 25. So this is a serious throw. But I love the design of it. Love the execution. I love the quarterback footwork even more. We'll see from the back end. Look when he goes to throw this thing, though. Slow it down. The wide receiver's just coming out of it up top. And he, he's sl slightly anticipation. He's separating right there into the throw. Rip it up high on his face. That's an absolute seed strike. This is it. This is as good as you can get as far as what he looks like throwing the ball down the field. Now watch the pass pro here. We already talked about the two chips. There it is. But now watch this three-step. And we're going to shuffle to the side. We're throwing the comeback here. Let it play. There's that shuffle throw. Almost slingshot yourself. You know, Aaron Rodgers-esque here as far as shuffle, throw, same motion. I know there's gurus all over the place that are probably rolling over in their grave that he didn't back foot first move here. Okay, all that stuff is, you know, for me as a wash, don't care what fo foot moves first. Just get the hell out of the way. Shuffle over, no heel click, rip right into it. Perfectly rhythmical. Again, watch it. We'll watch it all the way back now. But watch his feet here. Come together, left foot, whoop, over, throw. All one movement. To me, that's 12 in Green Bay. But every people have done it for a long time. One, two, three, shuffle, rip, up on his face. Hoo, hoo, hoo. That's it. Garoppolo approves. Love it. Third and five. Hey, what are we gonna do now? Amendola. I think Edelman was out at this point in the season. Gronk was out. Amendola coming across. He's just running a little option. He's got a great stem here. Come out of it. He trusts him to win. There it is. Trusting your guy at this point in the season just to win. Watch Brady's footwork here. One, two, three. Lined up. Again, no heel click when he's shuffling up or resetting up. Third and five. Big time play right there. Again, watch it all the way across. Just route-wise, pay attention to Amendola's stem. He goes outside here like he's going to run back into the post. Really, that's just an option. Great job, great execution, third down offense, outstanding. See him come across, quarters match, guy running with him. You know it's one-on-one. -on -one. One, two, three, boom. He's lined up, ready to go, puts it right on him. Again, outstanding accuracy, short, intermediate, outside the numbers. First and 10, now you're going to get tired. Now we're going to blitz. We're going to get a cross dog. Okay, so what I'm going to say here, for me, we're going to get a stunt. So first up front, we're going to get a little twist. TT, so that's the first thing. Then we're going to get this linebacker coming here, and here's the cross dog right here. So a lot of movement. Tackle switching, and then we're going to get the linebackers crossing. And this is a big hit to the back, and what I'm used to calling some variation of a rail route here, or go from the backfield. So he's going to come here, and this ball is sometimes thrown here right at the line of scrimmage. But because this defensive end now collisions him and peels with him to try to run, good luck. We're going to throw this down the field. Okay, so this goes to middle field closed. This strong safety tries to add on because we got this tight end staying in the block. So they have six-man protection, but they're only bringing really five Okay, because that defensive end is peeling down here. This defensive end is peeling. So New England has six blocking. They're essentially five that are blitzing. And then they get a six here with the add-on of the strong safety. They're never going to get home here and. Tom makes them pay. Beautiful throw. Great execution down the field. That's why you don't blitz him. There it is. Absolutely outstanding. Again, just watch his footwork. One, two, three. Oh, five. A little hesitation. Again, the base is what I'm most important about for me. Right there, he's locked in. All his cleats in the ground. Got pressure around him. Able to deliver the ball. Again, watch the route here from James White from the backfield. Collision, hang with him, don't panic, give him a chance, go ball, uh, outstanding, big time execution. Good luck trying to cover that as a defensive end. Again, watch him from the backfield, watch his cross dog action. We'll talk about the pass pro here one more time. Technically, they should be have a chance to hit him here. They don't do a great job sorting this thing out. Let's go deep dive here, pass pro for a hot second. Okay, so we got six, again, five offensive linemen, and the tight end. This is a tough ask right here. One-on-one -on -one tight end. I'm not sure that's exactly how it's supposed to play out. The one that does a great job right here is the right tackle. He pass sets, feels this defensive end, get out of there and pass coverage because James White's 
got a free release on the go or on the rail. Now this right tackle is able to come off his pass set and come back down into the pass. So really, we've got six, again, blocking their five. Now this is a lot going on as far as what I think is just the middle. So let's pay attention to just these four in the middle. Off the top of my head, I think we get here, all the way around tackle. Then we get what should be, I think, an A-gap spike with a B-gap loop right here. So it's a lot of crossing. We got crossing all over the place. Even though they have, we have six blocking here and they're only rushing five, to me, this guy still should be free. He just doesn't get there. We'll watch it a few times. We're also going to get an add-on. Add-on meaning green dog because he's got him man-to-man -man in coverage. He's able to come down, and he never gets there because he's coming from the heavens, but he can add on some sort of pressure. So let's watch this a handful of times. First, let's watch the linebackers on the stunt, on the pressure, a little cross dog. There it is. So that second looper should get there. Love to see that first guy take the A gap. You can see he bounces into the B gap. Pretty sure that's not correct. So really they end up getting two guys in the B gap. Nobody in the front on the right side A gap with the stunt. So you can see the tackles twist. You can see the backers cross. You can see the add-on from the strong safety from the heavens. But you got to get home. If you don't get home, they're going to take a shot make you pay. Again, footwork-wise, absolutely outstanding bounce or base. You got a little bounce too, but look at the base. Feet apart. Someone's at his feet. Just a quick little rotation. Give his a chance. Absolute dime. Perfect. Right on his line. Outstanding. So now we're inside the red zone and we're into RPO world, people. You love RPOs. Here we go. One back power, bubble up top. Look at the numbers up top. You like the bubble? They're trying to hedge you. It's really two on three out there. Really one on three. There they go. Throw the bubble. Make a miss. Doesn't get easier than that in the red area. Again, one more time. So bubble up top. You like the numbers, the leverage? Or you want to run one back power down here to the bottom of the screen. Either it looks good. Bubble looks better. The accuracy of these throws was what makes the difference. Check this out. This is a handoff. Whoop. Watch him seat the ball. Not panic. Put it right on him. That allows Amendola to make a move, get up the field. Easiest eight yards you'll get in the red zone right there. Again, one back power. Watch the offensive line to the right. They're all going to gap down to the left. We're pulling 62, the left guard. Nate Soldier, the left tackle. Gap hinge. He's going to protect the B gap. Hinge out to the defensive end, who's unblocked right here. A lot of moving parts. There it is. Everybody down. Guard around. It would have been a nice run as well. Not easier than this, though. Whoop. Open field tackle. Tough, even in the league. So I'll miss a few runs here. This is a touchdown. This is an outstanding scheme. Watch the motion down, just curl flat. But how they get there with the switch releases, really nice. So again, run it one more time. Watch the motion down, but then the static guy is running the curl. Hogan. So again, this technically, to, in my opinion, from a defensive standpoint, this is as close to a, a bunch as you can get without getting a bunch check. You can see that they look like they might try to be getting to it. Watch that strong safety, just his feet in the end zone. He's thinking about getting to a bunch check with his hands. Again, right here. You can see he's trying to maybe potentially get a bunch check. Again, we talk a lot about bunch on this channel. This is pretty close to a bunch right here. It's kind of a wide extended bunch. The reason you'd want a bunch check is to take away this touchdown throw. So right here is where the touchdown goes. When he comes in here, he comes back and they only really have three over three, we're going to have leverage on the curl. So again, he's coming in running a curl off this corner. See how outside leverage he is? Well, normally versus a bunch, you'd want to get into a box check. The reason you'd want to get into a box check, he would go outside, he'd go over the top, he'd have the, and we'd get this Mike defender into this area right here. He would then be able to help take away, defend this curl flat area. So again, because they don't, he's able to just come out here, run this curl on leverage on this corner. He's already got him beat by leverage. But the guy who should be into the play on a bunch check is right here, the Mike. He needs to bust it over there, especially when the number three vacates into the flat. 
So just the scheme here, we're going to get a curl. This is where the touchdown goes. We're going to get the inside kind of burst post. And we're going to get a flat. So if, if they were to bunch this, or if they were to box this, which I think they do, right? They try to do right here with this. He's going to go to the flat. The corner is going to be outside leverage on the curl. The strong safety is going to be over the top on the post. And it's going to leave this Mike defender. So all this comes down to all that, all that drawing, all that design comes down to can this guy run out underneath that curl? And right there, it looks like hell no. And he can't because he doesn't get this check that would bump him over and have him really run through. And he's got basically the number one flat. Nobody comes number one, number one inside. So he would then buzz out. So again, let's watch it a handful of times here. There it is. Look at the mic. He's just sitting, guarding no one. Boom. Right on time. Quarterback-wise, outstanding. Five, no hitch. Eyes down the middle of the field. Boom. Love red zone reps. Everything happens just a little bit faster. One more time. Watch the adjustment to motion or attempt to adjust to motion. They don't. Watch the mic. Cover no one. There it is. It's going to be a hard ask regardless, but if he doesn't get out there at all, it's going to be easy pitch and catch routes on air. Quarterback execution, five no hitch, under center, one, two, three, four, five, whoom. It's outstanding. Base, all your cleats in the ground, all your cleats in the ground, rip it, rotate right on, on the body, on the break. Really nice. So Tom Brady in Tampa Bay, Looks pretty good. Throwing comeback down the field, rail route, go route, mixing up empty, lots of stuff I think we're going to see moving forward. You know, it's going to be fun to see how the Arians left which offense kind of comes around to mold and kind of come together with what Brady's able to do at a really high level right now. But again, I think he's going to be really successful. I think they're going to have all sorts of energy in there. In that organization, be fun to watch offensively. Let me know what you think of it in the video, uh, in the comments below. Again, I appreciate it. You made it this far. Please check out the RPO course and enroll. I appreciate it. Have a good one.